Oh, wonderful cinnamon. You know, it's actually the bark of a specific genus of tree and it really evokes winter for me. I'm thinking spicy soups, maybe a, an exotic tagine or a mulled wine or all three. It's just one of the delightful aromas that will lead you by the nose to Red Hot Chili Pepper, a spice store in Caloundra. Owner Vicky Taylor uses her experience of dining in exotic locations to add a bit of pizzazz to the Sunshine Coast culinary scene. Spice has played a really important part in the world's economy. It did, it did indeed. So wars and battles have been won and lost over spices. You, you have become this mistress of spice, if you will. How did that come about? Growing up in New Zealand, meat and tree veg, yeah, yeah. and then um, going overseas and realising that you know meat was meat and vegetables were vegetables, it all came back to the spice. So for me, it's just that it's magic. So I just want to teach people what I know and share my love of and teach, spices. And teach them you must have to because there's can, people can be very skilled. These are very sort of old, ancient ingredients. Hot, pungent or sweet, Vicky can identify every root, stem and seed and suggest the most flavoursome combinations. OK, some tips. Um, storing. You're storing, OK. Uh, spices do not like heat, light or moisture, so mm -hmm. glass is best um, in the pantry. Two teaspoons of cumin seeds, one cinnamon stick, three cloves. Vicky's travels to Mexico, Morocco, the Mediterranean and Persia have armed her with some wonderful recipes that she shares during regular weekend cooking classes at a nearby commercial kitchen. She also runs spice blending classes right here in the shop. So all spice is a common spice. Does anyone know why it's called all spice? Yes, Alison. Because it tastes like lots of spices That's together? That's right. That's exactly right. And do you know what those spices are? Cut. Um, nutmeg. Yes. Ginger. Yes. Cinnamon? Yes. Uh, pepper? Cloves. Cloves. Yeah. Cloves. Cloves. We're pulling together the ingredients for what will be a Cape Malay curry. Minus the chicken, coconut milk and apricots. So when I've got in cinnamon stick, I'm going to cloves. We haven't got cloves. I get the impression that almost any food can be could be improved or enhanced with the use of spices. Definitely. You might have a really good dish that you think tastes nice, but you go and add spice, it just adds a complete another dimension and it just takes it to another level. Spice is the cheapest ingredient in any dish and it's got the biggest impact on flavour. And there's something fun about pounding and grinding it all into submission with a mortar and pestle. And so what is this grinding doing? So you're releasing the volatile oils and the smells will start to come and they'll be more apparent upon grinding. They reboot, don't they? They do. It smells more like Casablanca than Caloundra. Three hour spice blending classes are held at Red Hot Chili Pepper in Caloundra on one Saturday each month and they end with a taste test. The cost is $75 and bookings are essential. As I mentioned, Vicky also offers a range of cooking classes. I've got my own McLeod blend. It's, it says it's got a year's uh, expiry date. It'll be gone in a week. 